explosion. Hey guys, we're so glad that you joined us. I'm Pastor Courtney. And I'm Pastor Willie. And man, we've got an awesome kids explosion online ready for you tonight. Hi, I'm Kate. And I'm Nate. And we're service captains here at MMK. And we are so excited to be in your living rooms right now because guess what? I am so bored of looking at the same people all day long. I see the same five faces every day of the week right now, and I need a little change up. So you don't like seeing my face? Mm, it's nice sometimes, but not all the time. Ugh, it's getting ridiculous around the house. So have you guys been hearing about the news? And it's a little afraid, right? Yes. What did we learn about Sunday? We learned a little, we talked a little bit about fear. Fear? Yeah. Like afraid of the dark kind of fear? Well, a little bit of afraid of the dark. Well, what kind of fear? Well, fear of the unknown right now, of what's going on in the world. And it's scary right now. Like some people were out of toilet paper and we had to rescue them. We yes, really did rescue we did. them. And they were probably afraid of how they were gonna wipe their bottom. They were probably gonna have to use newspaper. But yes, which we does not seem fun. And guess what? God provided for them. God we, did provide for them. They didn't know where toilet paper was coming. And then it came up at their door. But did you know? There's a little note left on it for me. <laughs> yeah. So did you know, though, that some people are just afraid of toilet paper, running out of toilet paper? Really? Yeah. So, Miss Kate, what do we have here with these cups? So this is a cup of fear or worry. That's what it represents. See, I see this cup is blue. Is there a reason why it's blue? Well, sometimes when we start worrying or there's stuff that's going on that's out of our control, we get a little sad and we start to turn a little blue. Yeah. What is in this cup here? So this cup represents ourselves. That and represents... what we do with what we put in ourselves. So that represents us. Yes, and how we react to everything that is around us. And this represents fear or worry. Yes. Okay, so what if a, a little bit of this goes into there? Well, you will just have to find out and how we deal with it. But remember, we talked about in the Bible lesson this week that fear, we're not supposed to fear because what? God's with us. So what do you think that some of the fears that we have right now might be? Well, for some of the kids, it may be, when am I going to see my teacher again? So some of these fears are going to go in us, right? Yes. So like this? Yeah, because they're going to creep in. It's just how we how are we going to deal with them. What about sports? Sports? Yeah. I really like baseball, and am I ever going to get to see it this year? So we have a little more fear going in us now? Yeah. It's creeping in. Well, what about the fear of not having enough to eat right now? Oh, you know, that's a big one. You know, we went to the store the other day, and the shelves were empty. Yes, they were. I can't even buy beans. The canned foods, it was like somebody just walked up through there and just raked the food off into their cart and left. Mm -hmm. There was nothing anywhere. That's right. But there's other fears, too. Like what? Well, you know, what about making it to the next grade? Oh, yeah. The next grade? So that means I might have to do like the fourth grade over again? Well, we don't know what's going to happen. Oh my, that, that's a pretty big I'm one, isn't it? I'm not going to school right now. You're not going to school? No. Oh my. And I don't have access to internet. So how am I going to do my online schoolwork? Mm. That's, a, that's a fear or a worry. Because I, I really do want to go ne to the next grade. What else do you think they're, that we could, we're worrying about right now? You know... I'm really worried about seeing my church friends and family. Ooh. What if I never get to see them again and get to learn about God? That's a huge one. Yeah. What is going to happen if we don't get to go to church? Well, I guess that relationship's up to us and, and making sure that we're praying and reading our Bible. So all these fears are now in us. Yeah, because so we have it coming at us every direction. So what's going to happen now that all these fears have gone inside of us? So what did we learn about Sunday, Mr. Nathan? Well, we learned that we don't have to worry about anything because God is with us. Do you see that the birds, they never worry about where the food's going to come from. God is going to provide it for them. They're just always happy, always out there singing and going along. They never worry. Don't you remember the main point? It says... I fear not because God is with me. So I fear not because God is with me? Yeah. So all of this fear that was poured into us or that is being poured into us every day, we shouldn't be fearing because the Lord's with us. That's it. So you, we poured all of this fear into us uh -huh. and nothing came out when you... Nothing came out. 
So God is with us. God has our fears. We don't need to worry about it. Nothing. Why should we have to worry if the birds don't have to worry about their food? We don't need to worry about ours either. You know, that's pretty good. Don't forget this week's challenge verse, Isaiah 41, 10. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be discouraged, for I am your God. Man, I hope you are practicing that at home and really getting that into your heart. Because we have another challenge. Challenge! So our challenge for you guys is to find a creative way to display that challenge verse somewhere in your home or in your yard so that the people that you live with or the people driving by can be encouraged and remember that we don't have to be afraid no matter how crazy things are because God is going to take care of us. Absolutely. And we can't wait to see the pictures of where you're putting it. And whether it's in your yard, like, like Pastor Courtney said, or in your home, or man, something that we like to do is we write it on our, on our, our mirror. mirrors. Yeah. So whatever you do, we can't wait to see those, those pictures and, and those creative ideas. But let's pray together. Jesus, we love you. God, we thank you that we get to celebrate online doing Kidsplosion, where we're digging deeper and we're doing a big review of, of this week's topic, which is Fear Not putting our full trust in you. God, we pray that we would remember that, that you take care of the birds and the animals and the flowers, and, and they have nothing to worry about, and you love us more than you love the animals, and, and you want to take care of us, God. And so today we choose to put our trust in you. We love you in your name. Amen. Amen.